So I'm just laying out some plastic here on the road <clears throat> that goes around the back of the house to the shop. And I've actually had this roll of plastic since I did my my driveway right here before we built the house. I've had I've just been kicking this roll of plastic around in the weeds. And I always thought it was like just a little bit of plastic, but it's pretty much a full roll. <laughs> Maybe more because there's actually, there was a seam here. I don't know if I somehow rolled up this excess from another roll or if they just do that from the factory, if they just cut one off and wrap another one and give you a couple extra feet. I imagine that's what really what it was. Um, but it's pretty much a full roll and I've actually got it all the way around back uh, more than I expected. But <clears throat> what I'm doing this morning, I've got a truckload of rock on the way and I'm hoping if I peg all this down that he'll be able to actually tailgate right across here and I won't have to do a whole lot of spreading. So I was just gonna show you real quick how I'm making these little pins. I'm just using basic uh, bailing wire. I know they make, you know, metal pins you can buy. Um, my wife said, hey, you know, why, why not just use nails? But I really don't like the idea of, you know, intentionally putting nails in a roadway. <laughs> it doesn't make much sense to me. So I'm going with a bailing wire because it is a little bit softer. I've never known a piece of bailing wire to pop a tire like a nail will and it'll rot you know it'll rust out and you know pretty quick um too so it'll be gone that's my hope anyway so anyway let me set this phone down and i'll show you how i'm making these little pins and then tapping them in here this is just leftovers from you know the goat barn the farm the farm you always have your bailing wire and all i'm doing is taking about an inch and just wrapping it around that's about an inch and a half whatever wrap it around the tip of the uh, lineman pliers here and cut it off so i'm left with this little staple and the ground is actually hard enough right now it hasn't rained in you know a couple of hours at least <laughs> it's been raining every day so take your little staple here and then using the flat side so one side's tapered one side's flat oh my god i sprayed for mosquitoes yesterday but i guess it didn't work yet use the flat side of your lineman pliers and just hammer it down and you know yesterday oh golly i just sprayed for these stupid mosquitoes yesterday Whew. need some sunshine i guess Anyway, yesterday um, I rolled all this out and I was just throwing, you know, a brick or a board, whatever I could on it. And it really wasn't holding worth a fart. So, so I'm going through, pinning it down right now as much as I can. Hopefully I beat that truck driver because I don't want him waiting on me when he shows up. And I'm actually having to do the, the road curves here. So you'll notice there's some wrinkles in my plastic because I don't want to... I don't want to cut the plastic in a bunch of places and overlap it. And so instead, I'm just gonna let it wrinkle. And basically the outer edge, the outer edge is my tight line. And then those wrinkles will fold over themselves to the inside edge. Oh, and I just threw my wire down. Stunning. <laughs> it's amazing how easy it is to lose something like that. See, I had a block of wood there on it. Don't need that. Here's where that overlap in the plastic is at. So we'll stretch out here. Another, I've got a five gallon bucket of oil sitting on over there. We'll stretch out to there. Pin this corner. And then we'll pull this other plastic over top of it and pin that corner down. Like I said, these pins, they don't have to be anything special because they're just, they just gotta last long enough to get the rock on the plastic, which hopefully is any minute now. So give me a few extra, not just any minute. I need like a few minutes. Now, 
I'm gonna go along the, I'll pin this inside corner. You guys can see me over here or not. I'm gonna pin the inside corner over here and then I'll go back along the inside edge and uh, kind of make the folds where I need to to uh, pin all that because when that truck drives on it, as he turns his wheels a little bit, his wheels are gonna wanna stretch, are gonna wanna move that plastic as well. So you really wanna make sure, you wanna make sure it's laid down pretty flat and smooth the best that you can so that he doesn't tear it up when he gets on it. I mean, if it rips a little bit when the truck drives on, I don't care. I just don't want it to all wad up. So, like I said, I'm gonna go along this inside edge here now and just kind of pull all that over to the edge, pin it down in a few places, and then I'll start down the long run. But doing the same thing, just mostly pinning the outside edge because that's what's stretching tight. And that's what I have to, I have to kind of pull against that outside edge to turn those corners. And then I'll come back and pin the inside. All right, well, I suppose the plastic is laid, at least as far as I wanted to go. I've still got a decent bit on the roll there, but I'm not quite ready to put it in front of the shop, I don't think. I want to, but we've still got to do, um, of course, I've got a bunch of stuff here in the way, but um, we've still got to do some work in front of the shop here. we got to do some plumbing right here on this corner anyway, where the water line actually ties in, but we are going to put some rock right here, right in front of the doors. And we're going to do a lean to extension off this front uh, to give us just a little bit more covered area and a little bit more covered uh, storage space too. Really what I want to do is have some rock immediately in front of the doors, you know, 10, 20 feet out maybe, and then have the rest of this <laughs> actually be um, a rock base, but have grass on it. So there's a product called geo grid. And basically, you, it's a reinforced plastic grid, but not a plastic mesh. And you put this stuff out, and then you fill it in with something like screenings, something that is rock, but is still very permeable uh, so that the roots can get through it, and then overseed it with grass. So it will look like grass, it'll mow like grass, but you'll be able to drive over it uh, even when it's wet, and it won't sink and rot. That's the plan. I would like to be able to open up the shop doors here, look out and see what looks like nice grass all the way to the pond, but know that it's stable underneath of me. So I think that geo grid stuff's kind of pricey. So who knows, that may never happen. But for now, the goal for now was to get rock in here, um, really just on the main road around the house. I went ahead and stopped where the sewer line here has to go through. Uh, like I said, if I can get all this rocked, I'm happy. I think this is enough that when the kiln comes in, I'll be able to, um, but we'll be able to figure something out as long as it doesn't rain between now and next Friday, which the chances have really dropped off, but we'll be able to figure out somehow how to get the crane in here out of the way and then get my truck in here with the trailer. Um, but I'm gonna have to back the truck and trailer in right here. And then the crane's going to back in the, so the truck and trailer will be lined up over there. And then the crane's going to come in right here and back in and just pick the kiln up off the bed of my truck trailer and just fly it backwards. But I do have my water line in here. Um, at least this far so it's under the road so we can rock right over that that'll be nice and really i should have just done the rest of the way but like i said we've got to dig a big hole in here to um get that septic pump and everything put in but i may have to do something we have to lay some board if, the, if this isn't covered up as well if this isn't buried through to there by the time the crane comes i'm gonna have to do something to put some you know some uh, two by fours or something on either side of it so the crane doesn't mash it but I think we can figure it out I'm hiring a true crane company so hopefully hopefully they'll figure it out anyway plastics laid out um, as good as it needs to be for now my truck driver did finally text me said hey I'm running a little late I said yeah you think just a little um, but yeah I don't care that works better so when he shows up I may or may not be here Hopefully I am so I can get some video of it for you guys, but I'm gonna have him just try to tailgate. I think I've got this plastic pinned well enough. I've driven it over a couple times with the tractor and it didn't move at all. So I'm hoping it's pinned well enough. Um, that uh, ho hopefully it's pinned well enough. Sorry, I was reading a text. That he can drive right over it and for the most part tailgate that rock down and then I can just dress it with a box plate. But we shall see, we'll find out. <laughs> 